Here we are, we're inspecting the root crown of a Quercus agrifolia, California live oak. We know that root damage occurred about 11 years ago when construction was done near the tree. A new concrete slab was laid on the boundary of this building. We have a two-story building right here that had some foundation issues and some subsidence fears. And so new foundation, new compaction was done along the side of the building here and a new slab was laid. As a result of this construction and compaction work, roots were damaged on this oak tree. And so now we see 11 years later, we see the bark loss on the side of the trunk as a result of the root injuries that occurred 11 years ago. When a root crown flare has been cut, the tree is not able to maintain circulation throughout this system. So the root damage to the right of us here has resulted in the bark loss up the side of this trunk. So it just shows you how an injury has a long-term consequence for trees. And we like to avoid root injury if at all possible. We'd like to give this tree the best chance to continue on site. But we really have a serious problem here. Because even though right here, the wood sounds firm. That's pretty good. Some hopefulness there of sound wood. But right at grade, right at soil level, you can see how soft and pithy the wood has become. This is trunk wood. So very, very serious issue. Certainly this will determine how long this tree lasts on site. The fungus, of course, is also no joke. And we see it right here, the fungal activity on the side of the trunk. And so we're just going to see if we can remove this. And you can see right there, that's fungus. And of course, behind it, there it is, just totally punk and pith. We're going to remove as much of this as we can. Now we do have living bark right here. You can see there's cambium expansion here. The tree is trying to heal this wound. It's just that it's a very advanced decay at this stage in the story here. And like I said, it took about 11 years for things to get this far along. More fungus activity inside. We see it right here. This is more fungus underneath the bark, sort of hidden from view under here. This bark is loose and very weakly attached to the tree. It's just falling off very, very easily. So we're going to remove and clean this whole area all the way down to the root crown flare and try to bring it to firm sound wood. We're going to clean off all of the residue of fungus activity. We're going to use our orange rind oil. We're going to spray this site with special attention on anywhere where there was fungus and try to slow down and arrest the decay and the bark loss in this area and just give the tree more time to cope with an injury like this. This is a death wound for the tree. But if we can slow this decay down enough to give the tree a healing response and a compartmentalization, we could possibly keep this tree longer on site. It's leaning away from the building, not towards the building. If a tree like this were leaning toward a building, we may have to deem the tree a hazard tree. In the case of this tree, it leans out and away from the building. It has no target down the hill. So we can let the tree stand, even though it does have this, this hazard feature, this decline feature. If a wound like this were unaccompanied with a strong healing response, it may predict the tree's future removal. In the case of this tree, the healing response is strong. We see strong cambium callus rolling in and it bodes well for the tree having a future. We're going to retain the tree and just see if we can slow down the decay process enough for the tree to be able to be retained, maybe even for decades.